We are going to continue the Sefer, Yalkut Lekel Khtov. He brings down with the topic of Godel Hachiyuv Lemnoa Dam Bin Hachet. The great obligation that each and every one of us has to keep a person away from doing the Navaira. From over here, you will see how important it is not to surround yourself with people that do Averis, because if you're not going to be able to rebuke them, as we'll see, you'll be responsible for them. And not only that, Rabotai, you have to try to choose, you know how they say, choose your friends wisely. And it's not only with friends, it's everything else also. I mean, maybe it's late now for uh, most of us here. <laughs> choose your wives wisely. Because if your wives don't allow you to come to learn or to occupy your time with everything else, but the Torah Rabotai, it's a very, very big problem because they do cause bitl Torah, like it says in Masek Shabbat, that why will woman, why will woman die chasusham lolenu? Because of askara, askara starts. It's a swelling, it's a sickness lolenu chasusham that starts from the stomach, and it goes up to the throat and it chokes them and doesn't allow them to breathe. Why? Because the Gemara says Masek Shabbat, because they did little Torah to their husbands. So Rabbi is not so passionate when we choose our friends, when we choose our wives, whatever it might be, boss, work environment. A person has to be very smart. To start out the right way in life. So he brings down over here, Lo Yava Amoni Umoavi Bikal Hashem Ad Olam Lo Tetaev Adomi Lo Tetaev Misri Dor Shilishi Lo Yavola Hem Bikal Hashem. Rabotai, when we look into the Pesukim and the, the Torah, it says that an Amoni and Moavi, they're never allowed to come into the congregation of the Jewish people. Forever, they're never allowed to marry into the Jewish people. However, when you're dealing with an Adomi, you're not allowed to hate them. Also, he says you're not allowed to hate the Mitzrayim. Until the third generation, <clears throat> until the third generation, they're not allowed to marry into your children. After that, they are allowed to marry into your children. This is what the Pasuk brings down. Comes over here, the Yaakov Lekhev Tov, and he brings down, and he says like this. Rabbi Shimon Omer, Rabbi Shimon says, Mitzrayim, the Egyptians, Hem tivu et Israel bayam. They drowned us in the, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the water, correct? In the ocean. The Adumim, Hem kidmu et Israel becherev. The Adumim, they went and they preceded us with the sword. They attacked us. Velo asrana katuv ela adus shelusha dorot. The Pasuk says that they're not allowed to marry into your family only up until the third generation. The Egyptians drown you. These people kill you up to the third generation. But what happened was Amon and Moab. Amonim and Moavim shenatlu etzal lahachti et Israel. That they took advice how to make the Jewish people sin. Asrana katuv, the Torah answers them. Iser Olam, forever. Listen to this. Lelam Decha to come to teach you. Shahamachti et ha'adam. Kashelo min ha'orgora botai. One who makes another Jew sin. It's worse than a person that goes ahead and he kills another person. Rabbi says, so this is, this is the world we live in. We live in a, we live in a sick world, Rabbi Dai, today. Where you have people doing sins outright. In public, in private, so people have no more shame, Rabotai. But they think Baruch Hashem that they come and they do and they give tzedakah, which is nice. Our boys say you guys do whatever you want, but you have to know the truth, Rabotai. When you make another Jew sin, do what you serve Hashem. But Rabotai, why bring another Jew down? Pick another Jew up. Why bring him down? Shahargo einam motziu elamin haolamazeh. The one that kills a person, he only kills him physically, he only removes him from this world. But one who makes another Jew sin in Abotai, you take him out from this world, and you take him out from the next world. He says, Sifri, who will be Rashi? Sifri, and he's brought down in the Rashi. Just to make this a little bit more of a reality, if you maximum Hitler, you maximum, correct? If you would come down, if you would come down, if you would come and down with us over here in the Shul House of Torah, how many of us would sit next to him and down? 
Honestly, how many of us? No, you don't want to lie. Because he killed six million Jews. Uh -huh, Rabotai, shalom, shalom, shalom. why wouldn't you want to sit next to him? What did he do? Kill six million Jews. But Rabotai, how can you sit next to another Jew that's machti at Arabim? Day in, day out. He comes to shul. They give him the front place because he donates money. Why are you not disgusted by him, Rabotai? This guy is worse than Hitler. He killed them in this world, but at least I'm all in my bar. But people that Mahdi at Rabim, he takes them Rabotai even away from all of my bar. Why don't people wake up and smell, smell, smell the coffee? But Rabotai, we think that this is it. You have a guy has some lolly, he could be cheating on his wife, he could be sleeping with this woman, he could be robbing. People do have various things, but I don't have to go through every area right now. Ah, hello, how are you? Come in, come inside. <laughs> Rabotai, who are you, who are you lying to, Rabotai? No, it's sick. I'm telling you right now, it's sick. I'm not so much worried about this generation because I don't know who's listening, who's not listening. But what's going to be with our kids' generation? What's going to be with our kids? What's going to be with their kids, Rabotai? We're not a good example. We're not a good example. I want to mention a long time ago, right? You have people that go to Bar Mitzvah, but I'm not even going to speak about what goes on over there. But Rabotai, you already have assimilation. So now you go to your cousin, and you show him, you love him. And he has a Spanish girl or a black girl or a Mexican. Who knows what he has? So your son looks at a three-year-old boy, five-year-old boy. Okay, so that's not a problem. What are you guys showing? What are you guys showing? Even if it's religion, you have people like that you don't attend. You got to show your children this is wrong. Uh, Rabotai, look what he's telling you over here. The Egyptians drowned us. The Admonim, they killed us. But Moab and Ammon, all they did was make a sin. Them you're not allowed to, uh, to ever marry into their family. Listen to this. This rule of somebody who's making another Jew sin is more worse than killing him. Brings us to a great novelty. Hagarit Salant says, not somebody who makes somebody sin with action. He's considered to be a sinner. Listen to this, Rabbi Sai. Even if somebody had the possibility to be able to help him in a way, in some little way, to be able to refrain another Jew from doing a sin, and you didn't do it, you are also considered to be machtio that you make him sin. Rabotai, you will be held accountable for it as if you made the Jew sin. With action and with your hands itself, as if you gave him pork in his mouth. Right, Rabotai? We don't realize this. We think it's okay. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm only going over here to a mixed party. I'm only watching this. Mixed dancing. I'm only watching. I'm doing this. I'm watching movies. I'm only on my phone watching Instagram. Rabotai, you see this Jews dude, you have a very big problem. That's why a person has to be chacham, Rabotai. Do not allow, when you're in front of people, do not allow them. To do a various in front of you, you have that obligation. <clears throat> he says over here, one who makes another Jew sin is as if you kill him. Even more, worse from this, Again, he brings down the point. A person, when he makes another Jew sin, Rabotai would say that he's worse than Chassam he killed. Or he's even worse than Rabotai. Even if you were able to keep the Jew from going to a certain place, from doing a certain avera, from speaking to Shul, you were able to do the Rabotai. You see, you could just tell him one thing, Rabotai, and you didn't do it. Nevertheless, we're going to give you that avera in your hand, and you're no different than the guy that made another Jew sin. Like that's what he says, Rabotai, in Masech Shabbat Avnudal Amut Bet, 
כל מי שאפשר למחול לאנשי ביתו או לאנשי עירו ולא מכאן נתפס עליהם anybody is able to protest against his family members against the city and he doesn't do it he's held accountable for the sin Rashi he says it's as if they give the credit as if he did the sin however Rabotai he says right now Amnam however הגימור מדברת רק על מי שיש בכל חול למחות the Gemara speaks about somebody who has strength to, re- to, to protest. Ulam, however, from this passage where we spoke about Adom and Mo- uh, Moavin, who was it? Amon. Amon. He says something else, but even stronger. Ulam min ha'amur le'el yotze, but according to what we said comes out over here, sha'afilu mi she'en bekochol imchot. Even if a person does not have the strength to protest, he might not have the money, he might not be the rabbi, he might not be influential. But he's able to help some way. Maybe he's able to take out money to save another Jew. Maybe he's able to tell this rabbi, etc. This Jew has to do everything in his power, everything in his possession to try to save another Jew from sin. Even if you can't do it directly, get somebody else involved. This is why Rabotai is not a joke what's going on today. So when you decide to go with your friends or you want to go with your family somewhere and you think everything's okay, Rabotai. Okay, so you, let's say, for example, you're doing one aver, you have 10 people with you, they're also doing 10 averes and you're saying anything, comes out according to the teaching, Rabotai, you walked away with 11 averes. You come to Shaman, you think you were a tzaddik sitting learning Torah all day in the house of Torah, what ends up happening? You're going to be in Gehenna. Why? But I was learning Torah. You were learning Torah, but you were not concerned about another Jew. This is why they give a very famous example, Titanic and Botai. What happened to the Titanic? One hole broke thousands of people down. This is over here. You know, somebody told me something very interesting. Like, Rabbi, you are alone battling the war against a, a lot of people. Okay. You're the only one who speaks about these things. You're the only one who comes out with the Emmet. You think you're battling the world. You against one, you against the whole world, millions of people. Okay, fine. I told him, ask you a question. How many people did Hitler kill? Six million. How many people was Hitler? One, he had a whole, bat- okay. But how many, who started the whole thing? Hitler started the whole thing? Hitler was able to kill six million people, yes or no? So Rabbi Noah Weinberg, when Rabbi Noah Weinberg, who, who built the H Torah, he said the fundamental rule about, I remember this, Many years ago, before I even became Baal Teshuva. If one person can kill six million people, one person, one Jew can bring back six million people. Don't tell me stories. Oh, my father, my mother, my wife, my dish. Rabotai, the bottom line is, we are weak. We are afraid of people. We're afraid of our wives. We're afraid of losing our parnasa. We only want in this world, honor Rabotai. We want honor, kavod. Shabzavta rekamne prashli artur. Придут, поверь мне, что как придут. Слава yeah. Богу, он ушел, скажет, почему? Потому что я ему должен был деньги, блин, я ему должен был деньги. Сейчас он нет, я не должен был ничего платить. Работай, wake up, it's Elul, wake up. Примерно, я считаю, что сказал что-то красивое. Авраам сказал мне что-то очень красивое. Если человек не знает, если у вас есть маленький, как вы называете, человек, который меня выбрал, с его чувствами, я чувствую. If a person doesn't uh, fix the filling in uh, yeah. the cavity, if he doesn't fix it now, Rabotai, in the end he's going to have to do a root canal. If that doesn't go, he's going to have to uproot the tooth. If that doesn't go, he's going to have to put a new crown. I don't know how this whole business works. This is not Rabotai. Fix the cavity. So Rabbi Meir Eroshita says, you see all these problems that people go through the whole year? Because during El, they didn't take the time serious. They didn't fix that cavity. That's it throughout the whole year. They have root canals and... Root canal problems and crown problems. Yeah. Rabotai yeah. implant. Thank you. That that is the word. Yeah. Rabotai, wake up, wake up. Do not waste your time. And the Yetzirah is so smart. And I see it, Arturja. I see it. I see how people will kill their time for nothing. It's only a matter of time. You know when they're gonna realize? You know, you know the like the says. You know when people gonna come to realization when it's too late, when they're dead. Then they're gonna realize, man, I wasted all my time. Baruch Adonai Olam Amen Amen Baruch Hanabenek Hashem Baruch Hu. Let's go to the Fikir Balaim Torah